there are three, depending on the way you count them, three or four primary factors. Firstly, let's think about you. Because alcohol is not going to affect you the same way it's going to affect the person next to you or the person next to them. It affects everyone differently. So for you, can you give me some examples of things that would affect, yeah. Wait. Okay, Ten. firstly, wait. They do call it mass in the um, formulas that I'm going to show you in a second, so it's helpful for you to write that. Wait, mass, yes, another Age. one. Say it again. Age. Okay, interestingly. It's not. Not really. Or not. Old. Not really. Oh, gender. Yeah, it's mainly this. Okay, gender. Thank you. <laughs> Male, female. You're two years old and you're like, hella fat. <laughs> okay. So these two things are really big, and we'll talk about uh, males generally uh, process alcohol faster. Their bodies process alcohol faster. So even if you've got a male and a female who are exactly the same mass, they will process like, alcohol at different like, times. Like, if you're different Yeah, that's right. So that's why all of this is estimate. All of this is estimate. Yeah. If you're 63, then your liver isn't going to be as good if you're 20. So that's why it hasn't been That's true. That's true. Now, that's mainly about you. Those are the two factors that affect you. There's another fact factor, which is clearly, well, just how much are you drinking, right? So you drink more, it's going to affect you more. You're going to have a higher blood alcohol content. The way we define this, the way we quantify it, is what we call number of, does anyone know what they're called? Stand drinks. Thank you. I'm going to put that in inverted commas. I'm putting this in inverted commas because it's a technical term, right? Standard drink means something. I'm going to show you exactly how to calculate that in a second. Standard drinks, though, in itself is affected by two different things. Firstly, it's just quantity, like how many drinks you're taking, like how many meals or whatever. But there's another factor that's really important, the type right? Of alcohol. Yeah. Percentage. So the type of alcohol, not really, it's the type of drink, and therefore what percentage of alcohol is in there. Now I'm pretty sure that the acronym for this. Sorry, you're sort of getting acronym to death, but it's because we're sick of saying the same phrases over and over again. The acronym you need to look for is ABV. Uh, it means alcohol by volume. Okay. Um, this is generally a percentage. So let me show you some things. Uh, here we go. This is what I'm after. So standard drinks. Um, you can see here. Uh, we're gonna. I'm gonna list some of these for you in a second. Um, you can see here for the typical containers that you get beer or wine or spirits in. Right. You've got different quantities. It has more alcohol. That's what it means. Um, you can see the different quantities that result in a standard drink. Okay, now I'm sort of running a little bit short in space, but I'm going to try and get some of this down. Um, B, you can see here. Uh, I want you to have a look over here on the left hand side. You've got the um, alcohol by volume here, so that's why it's measured as a percentage. Okay, so it's you know for this amount of alcohol, uh, rather this amount of drink, how much of it is actually alcohol? Okay, so you have this range here. I'm just going to say for you right now, you might like to write this down. Um, for um, for different drinks, what the average alcohol by volume is for beer, it's about five. It's about five percent. Okay. Um, you obviously have this this range, um, and you know from day to day you'll get different. You know, day to day, batch to batch, brand to brand, you will get different um, alcohol by volume. But five percent is a pretty good guy. Okay. So when we say beer, you know, like what do we mean? We mean stuff like you know four x. Uh, yeah, Guinness, depending on, it's going to be towards the higher end. Um, you know, Pure Blonde, Cardi Breezer, all those kinds of things are in this category of just beer, roughly 5%. It's on the label, I should point out, right? Not very large writing, but it's there. It's required by law, okay? Especially once you're wearing beer goggles. Okay, now, if you want to, if people want to drink more, like more in terms of quantity, right? Therefore, people will often get, not beer, but light beer. Okay. Yeah, things like that. So a light beer generally, again, there's always going to be a range. There's always going to be a range, but they're about 3%. You'll find there's lots of different brands out there, like, you know, um, Han, Coopers, Boags, etc. And they're basically all called, like, premium light. Like, that's what their name is. Okay, so that's how you can tell it's a light beer. <laughs> and you can then see your next grade up is wine. Okay, now have a look at the percentages that are listed there. You see how they're so much higher. Like, they're more than double. Okay, um, the number when I was researching, approximately the median, I'll write this down, the median ABV for wine is about 13%. It's about 13%. So what, what kind of wine is that? White wine, red wine? Yeah, well, they'll, they'll all vary. They'll all vary. But yes, broadly speaking, so, you know, a nice Shiraz, a nice Sauvignon Blanc, whatever, they're all about around 13, and you can see they sort of go up or down. Okay? Because, like, I don't know, like, 
heard rosé has less alcohol than, like, say, a white wine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, would that be, like, still in the category as aggressive? Yeah, yeah, it's still in this, it's still in this rough range. Okay. In fact, pretty much all these categories, they're defined by their ABV, right? Once you hit, you pass a, th a certain threshold, it's like, oh, now you're fortified wine, and now you're spirits. I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. What I want to point out is, can you have a look at the mills here? Have a look closely at the mills. You can see, for these containers, there's so much, these glasses, they're so much smaller, right? Because there's so much more alcohol in them versus these, okay? They're about half the size because they've got about twice as much concentrated alcohol. Does it make sense? Yeah. Um, it's like saying the, like the dark color. Yeah, okay, so how do you, how do you read this, yeah. right? So for instance, if you're drinking a wine and it's on the heavy end, 15% alcohol, right? That means all you need is 112 mils, right? Like, see all of this volume up here? It's just so you can swish it around and be yeah. fancy when you're drinking it, right? It's not to fill up, okay? <laughs> so your 15% your of wine, your 50% alcohol of wine, you just need to fill it to there, and that's already a standard drink. Right? So it's, it's not much in the actual glass. But if they fill it to the next level, is it 15 plus 14? Or so, is then, it so then, <laughs> so then, so all of, all of these are about what is what constitutes one standard drink. So the next level is not about if you've got 15%. The next level is, well, if you've got a wine that has less alcohol in it, that's how far you fill it up to have oh, one standard oh, drink. Oh, okay, it's, it's just yeah. saying where it can Correct. Go. Now, by the way, can I just point out, like for example, have a look at one of these. Okay. No one ever really knows how much of that thing they've drunk because they'll, you know, they'll get one, right? And then it'll get topped up. Or then, you know, someone will add something else to it. And so this, when I said estimate, I really mean estimate. We're gonna talk about the actual calculations. But please don't ever use that as a decision-making guide. This is the number that should be important to you if you're actually going to be driving. Okay? This is about driving and safety. I've yeah. got Oh, what about in beer? What about the foamy part? Is that? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it depends. Um, so, I mean, if you think about it, what that foam is, those bubbles, right? It's just the beer plus air. It's all it is, right? So it's still going to have alcohol content, but obviously, like, once it settles, like, we're talking about the actual liquid, not Would you plus count air. That towards that I'd probably lean towards yes rather than no. It's very minimal, though. It like, is. Like it sells pretty fast too. It's very foamy. Okay. Um, now I've got. What have I got? Beer might be a wine. Does anyone know what the last one is? I've actually already mentioned it. Fortified. Okay. Now there is fortified wine, but that's that's actually very. It's quite unusual. Um, spirits, which I think a couple of people mentioned, um, is down here. Does anyone know what the two most common spirits are? They're very famous. Vodka and. Whiskey, whiskey. There is tequila, but um, vodka and whiskey are definitely the most um, common. Um, now I've left it off here. What would you guess? 40. Like you can see, things are getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, it's forty. It's forty percent. But right? they're in like. This is brain damage territory, right? So, <laughs> yeah. Now I just want to point out. Let's let's come back to this. That's why they have them in shots. Exactly. Exactly. Right. These shot glasses, right? They are tiny and they're not filled up all the way either, right? So you need an incredibly small amount to constitute a single standard drink, which is why people get so drunk so fast when they're drinking whiskey, okay? Does it make sense? What's the difference whiskey and the other one? Vodka. Whiskey with bourbon? And there's another one. Bourbon is. Bourbon is a type of whiskey. Scotch is. is oh, uh, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> um, Wrong. I, I know enough about drinks to. Uh, I should point out, by the way, you know how I said this is an important number? It's not just an important number for you, it's an important number for whoever is driving the car you're sitting in. Because most of you guys, you're pretty gooey, pretty responsible, right? Does it matter? Mostly. The okay. Uh, no, it doesn't like matter for the passengers. That's why there's designated driver. Okay. For me, like the reason why I know all of this stuff. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> Irene's going to probably laugh at this, or maybe she won't. So, most Asians don't possess the gene for metabolizing alcohol properly. So, if I drink, if I drink like. 20 mils, I'll turn about about Lightweight. this color. Okay? Now I'm not drunk, I'm just super, super red, okay? So I don't I don't generally I mean I don't I don't enjoy the flavor that much either. Uh, I mainly know all of this through my university days hanging around with my friends and being their designated driver. Okay? <laughs> so I don't really know the difference between scotch and that kind of thing. So the whole thing with lightweight and heavyweight is about mass. 
Yes, correct. So mass is the main thing. Mass is the main thing. Now, by the way, please look back at what blood, blood alcohol content is. Why is mass so important? Because it's more than blood. The more it is, like if you have like this, like yep. this, and then you add like two drops of whatever, it will be like more diluted, but if you have water to here and you add the same amount, it's going to be more concentrated. Exactly, very good. That's so good. you can see the clear idea is if you weigh more, you have more blood, right? So you have a larger quantity, a larger volume for which your um, alcohol is then diluted. Diluted is exactly the right word, okay? So that's why mass is so important.